What's going on guys, Victor here. What's going on guys, Victor here from Dextra Outdoors and I got a brand new knife to showcase for you guys. This is the Dextreme 8 inch Max Flex. This knife has great flexibility and a great overall knife and I'm gonna demonstrate it on this gorgeous Yellowtail Snapper that we have down here in South Florida. What I really like about this knife, as the name suggests, is the flexibility. A lot of, not, a lot of times knives are too rigid and they tend to you know be really aggressive with fish now what i'm going to do is just go from the head down to the tail of this yellowtail snapper i'm going to go and rest the knife on the fish's spine go from the tail to the head and i'm going to go all the way up and look at that gorgeous yellowtails meat and i'm going to break through these little pin bones right here you can hear them and i'm going to go over this snapper's rib cage down on the other side of the backbone and take a look at what this knife is doing right now. You see that flex? That is so important when you're dealing with a delicate flushed fish like a yellowtail snapper. These are not very firm. You want to be very gentle with a fish like this, otherwise you will tear the meat. And the flexibility that this knife provides is very good at doing that. As you see, we left nothing on there. The knife glides perfectly over the rib cage. So now I flip my yellowtail over. And whenever you're skinning or whenever you're filleting a fish with scales, you go into the scales. You never want to go directly like this. You want to go at an angle. Same thing. We're going to work from the head to the tail. Razor sharp knife makes it effortless. And once again, I'm really going to utilize the flexibility of this knife as it contours to the fillet of this fish. Break through the pin bones of the yellowtail, over the rib cage, down on this side of the backbone. And voila. All right. Now, another reason I love this knife is for skinning fish. When you skin fish, you want a good flexible knife it's not too stiff. So I always start from the tail half, work towards the head half, line it up with the edge of the flay table. Look at that, gorgeous. Left nothing on there. Now we can just remove these few little pin bones and that is a wrap. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in the knife that I use today, eight inch max flex, I'll have it linked below for you guys or you can find it at dextraoutdoors.com and we'll see you in the next one.